is a tree grows near our house. It's been there quite some time. Now the tree is a slippery elm tree, and it's awful hard to climb. But when my wife gets after me up in that tree, I always roost. Well, I can go right on up it just like a healthy squirrel. I don't ever need no boost. But the other day, a woodman came round to chop my refuse down. Kept mumbling something about splitting it all up into kindling wood, and then wanted to spread it、uh, around the town. So I said to him, I said, "Look here, my friend. Hold on, wait, desist, whoa, stop." Put down that forest razor, man. Chop not a single chop. Woodman, woodman, spare that tree. Touch not a single bough. Three years it has protected me, and I'll protect it now. Now go chop a oak, get a birch, have a pine. But save old Slippery there, that's mine. Why, man, that's the only a tree that my wife can't climb. Mr. Woodman, spare it for me. I said to him, I said, Woody, do you see that hole way up near that old tree top? Yeah, that's the one. Well, I got five dollars in soft money hid up there, and it's yours if you refuse to chop. Now you see, no one can climb that tree but me. 'Cause really, friend, who it's too slippery. Fact the matter is, I can't get up there very well myself, unless my wife is、uh, after me. So I gonna go get the little woman, and I gonna proceed to call her a very naughty word. Then all you have to do, Mr. Woodman, is just stand by incognito, 'cause I'm gonna do a perfect imitation of a bird. Now you ain't gonna know just where I go. That is while、uh, the little woman's around. So the only thing I ask you, Mr. Woodman, the only thing I ask you, if you don't see me here on the ground, then, Mr. Woodman. You gon' spare that tree, touch not a single bough, 'cause I gon' be way up there, and I gon' drop that five down to thee, the one I promise thou. But you must make that axe behave, because Mr. Woodman, that tree there just must be saved. My man, that's the borderline 'twixt me and the grave. Mr. Woodman, spare. Please, bad for me.